bullshit, man. Subject to that, man. But anyway. Like say Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Also give a divine to the elders of GMS and honor to the Akiyam. Make sure this is good. Peace and blessings to you, brothers and sisters that listen to hopeful elects, man. Kahala Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah, man. Another week. Alright, another week in Babylon. But uh Mosai is turning up the heat. It's turning up the heat, man. Get the first precept. Get the book of Joel. Jump straight into this World War Three, man. Straight. Not even gonna waste any time, man. Okay, because I may have to read the article. Okay, because um, <laughs> Trump, Iran shot down uh, one of America's drones. And the, uh, he said it was in international waters, the Persian Gulf. The whole region is hot right now, man. Okay, that's why the scripture says Babylon, America, shall begin to make war with the kings of the east, man. All right? And that whole region is on fire right now, man. And everybody's over there gathering, you see? And they shot down one of their drones. I believe it was the Strait of Hermas uh, over there. And it was almost, man, I was praying and hoping that he was actually dumb enough to actually hit him, man. Okay? But that's just Yahweh Bashim Yashah showing us the time we in, man. Okay? That's major, major, major prophecy, man. Okay? That's not even small, man. Because that's the, World War Three is the end game. Okay? That's what the Bible talks about, what? The lake of fire. Or the second death. It's the third world's war, man. And we at the brink of it. You see? Of course there's gonna be other calamities and um, other events that have to take place before America's run off the map. You see? But the kingdom of heaven is at the door, man. That's the point, man. I gotta make sure. Okay. The kingdom of the most high is at the door, man. Rock that you how about shimmy out shop for that. Man. See, let me get the first precept though. Get the book of Joel. Okay, and who we are here for? The twelve lost tribes of the children of Israel, man. The elective. The ones that you can hear the message, man. Or the gospel or the good news. This is for you. Joel chapter 3 verse 9. See these people out here, they just gone, man. That's why the most high told Ezekiel to prophesy to the wind. Joel chapter 3 verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Read it again. Joel chapter 3 verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. What time period we in? War, man. Okay? People talk this foolishness of love and coming together. You don't know what time period you're living in. Okay? Get the book of Joel, chapter 9, verse 12. One, Revelation chapter 9, verse 12. One woe is past. Woe means war. And behold, there come two woes more hereafter so the bible prophesies of three world wars man which is the war of wars world war three it's gonna be the last war okay 
So well, let's read in Joel chapter 3 verse 9. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to answer the lesson, but I have one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spiritual powers, are they going to come during Jacob's trouble? Yeah, the majority of the spiritual power, yeah, is going to come in Jacob's trouble. When the scripture says, is the enemy coming coming as a flood? But, like, brother's been teaching now, because we already have um, parts of that spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, not, um, yeah. Demons and devils and all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. When you rebuke people, um, when you send up curses and the most high answer your prayers, because we're the only ones that have a direct access to Yahweh by Shinal Shah. Man. The only one, man. That in itself is power, man. And it might be certain, um, because like when you read the Acts of the Apostles, yeah. it might be certain, um, in the ministry, I don't know if you've seen our brother, he said his his wife had a vision. No, his wife take care of um, people in the um, the hospital, and the Edomite had a vision nice. of, of spiritual power. Nice. You ain't see that video? See that oh video. man, that video is a faith booster. So a brief, brief summary of the video. Uh, his wife take care of patients, right? I think I understand what you're about to say. Yeah, and um, she wasn't supposed to take care of this particular patient. It's just that I guess the family didn't like the other nurse. So um, this guy was in a coma, Edomite, for 10 days. So then he woke up out of a coma. And he's like, his eyes is closed. And he's mumbling. And he's like, yo, I thought there was a hell. She's like, what are you talking about? He, she said, he said, I realized there's no hell. She, he said, I was in the spiritual realm. She said, what, you was in the spiritual realm? He's like, yeah. He said, um, she said, um, um, did you see God? Did you see the most high? He said, I seen a form of God. She said, did you get to talk to him? He said, no, nah, I didn't get to talk to him. He said, I wasn't even important up there. He said, God is real tricky. This is him mumbling. He said, God is real tricky. I realize there's some people he love and there's some people he don't love. But he said the people that he love are going to get miraculous spiritual power. This is coming from his, his exact mouth. He said the people that God love are going to get miraculous spiritual power. He said, did you see it? Did you see it yet? She said, nah, nah, I ain't see it. He said, don't worry, you're going to see it real soon. So then what makes this so powerful, she went back to him the next day and said, she old. Remember what you told me yesterday? This way he's fully awake now. Yeah. You told me yesterday about spiritual He said, what are you talking about? I, I knew he was yeah, yeah, yeah. He remember. Yeah, he remember nothing. He said, God, I don't even believe in God. Why would I tell you those he's things? Yeah. That's but cool. you see, the most I put the spirit on him to tell her, to tell him, to tell brothers, that power coming soon, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to be certain levels of spiritual power. And that's when the majority of the one third going to come in through certain acts. And they gonna know beyond a shadow of doubt. Nah, these these are the true men of the Lord, man. Right? You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I was wondering that. I was wondering because I had some, some other brothers um, uh, in the house issue with him over there. They yeah, they they, 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 they be astonished. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, I asked the other brothers in the house issue. I asked them when the spiritual power was coming. They said after, but I kind of like felt like it has to come at least during that yeah. time because. We're not, we're not supposed to rely on guns during nah, that time. Nah, nah. Right? Because then David said he's not going to sword or... Yeah, Psalms 44. Yeah, it's yeah, not going to save us. That right? can't save us, man. Yeah, it's not. It's and like, and we... And we yeah. And it might happen in, right before, too. Because it got to be... Because we're in a part of... We're in a time now of the Great Awakening. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Israelites are waking up to their nationality, who they are. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of them leaving the Christian churches. That's a lot of these Christians now. I don't know if you see a lot of their pastors. They start mentioning this more and more and more now. Yeah, 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 How yeah. do you they have in these councils? How do you counter the Hebrew Israelites? And they start, and they start to use the, um, the names Yeshua. Yeah, they trying Yahweh, to tap into the Hebrew. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the one with Pastor Anderson versus K Dub. Because both of them got cut by the Israelites. Now they talking about works. Do do you need to keep some of the commandments? Where you guys get that from, man? I saw one um, Christian preacher going into the icons. Where you get that from? Y'all got that from us. Y'all never went into no dark icons or the, the, um, the dark ages. Y'all were always teaching that Cesare Borgia. But now everybody has to um, 
they come up with a new formula. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they gotta reevaluate on what they was taught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they hear what we're saying now. Yeah. This truth has affected the whole world. The, the whole world, man. And all they gotta do is humble, leave that doctrine, and come back to who they are, man. Yeah. You see? But when a most high gives certain men power, which we know gotta come soon. Because you see uh World War Three kicking off. Yeah, um, Iran shot shot a um, shot, shot the, the drone, drone out the sky. It can either be real or false flag, either or that's still yeah, yeah. war. Yeah. So either or. Yeah, because um uh, he um they said they attacked the ship, which Iran um say they didn't. But um and then America sent a drone over there because um that whole thing is over oil, man. Because uh, Iran got pipes through Syria going into Europe and Russia back in Iran. And America also got pipes, but they, they pipes go through Syria to Turkey, you see? And um, uh, go through Iraq to Syria to Turkey, you see what I'm saying? So that whole battle is for the Mediterranean, you see? But Iran, I just read the scripture before you came, Joel 3 and 9, for prayer war um, against the Gentiles, man. Mossad stirring them up. You can't fly no drone over anybody's airspace. Yeah. Don't say because you're America, we're just going to allow you to do it. No. Yeah. We're going to shoot it down out of the sky. <laughs> what they thought was going to happen. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? You can't do no shit like that, man. And once, and once Israel, you know, the victory and Malachi, once they go to war with Iran, that's game. the Edomites is going to join in. Yeah. And that, that's the start of it. Because that's, Jer that's Jeremiah 49. It says, uh, the least of the flock shall draw them out. That's mm -hmm. Israel. See? And Israel said they're not standing for Iran um, getting nuclear weapons. They're not going to stand for that. You see what I'm saying? See, see here. Uh, but that's just the most I showed us more and more every day that we're getting closer, man, to this, man. Getting closer, man. If people can't see the signs then, which these people out here, they can't see it. To them, that was nothing. But we know according to prophecy what's about to take place. Man. Because going to war with Iran is a whole nother ball game. Entire different playing field, man. This is not no Iraq. This is not no Afghanistan. This is not no Syria. It's a whole nother. They're on the brink of having nuclear weapons. You see? That's what they're hitting them with. Huh? Oh, another question. Yeah. During Jacob's trouble, it says that there could be no day like it. So do you think like that's when the fire thing would pop out, mad and other stuff like? Well, well, there was another brother who had another uh, child had another vision. Um, he was on a skyscraper. And he said he saw three things. He saw the missiles come in, he saw the chariots, and he saw Godzilla, which we know that's a vibe thing. And he said he saw Godzilla coming out of the water and he brought the whole sea with him. You see? So the most high gonna bring out the scripture says in um was it um Ecclesiastes 36? Yeah, I saw you pushing, I clicked on your page, saw you pushing. I was like, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, just keep doing that. You know what I mean? The right doctrine. Keep pushing, man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get to us to and fro, none of that. Nah, nah, nah. The, the doctrine I'm rooted and grounded on is the doctrine right here. I yeah, can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man. You saw us now. When I first came into this, brothers, I was watching videos saying, brothers saying, these are the Arabs, and just before I even learned, these are the um, white men, they made no sense. I was watching them, like, that makes no sense. They, that makes they, zero they, sense. They made it out the movies, and I was like, come on, man. You go into Hollywood, yeah. So I, so I read Genesis 25 25, Red and Harry all over. On, I look man. around and I just see red and hairy all over all these Edomites and I was like, right. I The scripture know. tells you everybody, the Arabs know. You can ask the Arab, oh, you're not there. You ask the Arabs, who are you in the Bible? They'll tell you Ishmael. Yeah, yeah, they, they know that. And I searched that up too. I searched up who the um, descendants of Ishmael and, and it showed Arabs. Arabs. Yeah, then I searched up Esau. And, yeah, and um, nobody knows who Esau. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh, huh. Oh, look at Esau right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, missed yeah, it. Yeah. You saw the red face? Oh, yeah. He was oh, smiling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talking about, um, Arabs so. off. The ship that tells you Ishmael will be a wild man, his hand will be against every people. Genesis 19, they're all wild. Yeah, they're wild. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Wild, yeah. So, there's no way, it's too much scripture saying he's the end of the world. When you go to the book of Revelation, it tells you um, he's the beast, the Roman Empire reincarnated. And when you read the book of Second Ezra, it tells you Esau is the end of the world. And Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered up the faces of the he judges thereof. Yeah, yeah. So we know and exactly what we're dealing with. And we, exactly we, with yeah, when you go into the Apocrypha, it tells you um, evils multiplied when the Greeks came into power. Yeah, Alexander the, uh, the Freak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so how could the Arabs be Esau? That whole doctrine, is it, yeah, yeah. that don't even make sense, man. They say the white man is Jaffe. What? Yeah, it makes no sense to me. When you look at the original Japheths, they look like um, 
the Polynesians, the Indonesians. So you've ever heard of Sungir? Sungir in Russia. They look like straight up um um the people of the Fiji Pacific Islands, the Aborigines. Those were the first occupants of Europe. Not um. I mean, there you go. Not the um, white Nah, he, he moved up there. When you go into um, Haman, I don't know if you know Haman is. Haman? Yeah, he tried to persecute the Israelites during the time of um, Esther. No, I didn't read that. Yeah, read that. I still, I still, I still got a lot of studying in the plan. Yeah, he is a Macedonian, but his bloodline goes back to Esau. And his whole mission was to take the kingdom from the, um, the Persians to the Macedonians. And who was a Macedonian? Alexander the Greek. So those are all the descendants of Esau that moved up there. Ain't no Arab man. When you look up Sun here, let me see. I'll show you this real quick. Russia. I want a garment like that too. Yeah, I'll, the brother who make the garment. Man, I don't even know where that dude is at. He always changes number. Sun here. See, they look like the Polynesians, Indonesians. Yeah, yeah. When you click on the name, it says Sungir is an upper Palatheic archaeologist site in Russia, one of the earliest records in Eurasia. What time period was it? So they had the bogus numbers, 32,000, 20,000 BC. But it was about, um, we know about like 10,000. Um, those are the earliest records of what they found in Russia. And look how they look like. Those are the Japhites. Yeah. You hey, know, those, yeah, those are the Japhites. That's not no Esau. Esau wasn't up there first, man. Uh, See? Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. When I first came into this, I was watching a whole bunch of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I was, I was seeking the, the, the one and only truth. Even though it was GMS. That's like, it's like a lot of the have the same passion, but the only difference that they teach is my shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the only thing. That's the thing I still need to study on. Yeah. But I do believe it is our religion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the image not script. The image is um, it's philosophy, it's doctrine, yeah, yeah, it's democracy, it's feminism, it's homosexuality. That's the image of the beast. It's new world order. That's his image. But it's um, it's a mark. It's a physical mark. That's clear as day. We can see the chip is here. That's not no longer a conspiracy. But we can see it's here. It's all around. We can see five key technologies. I was saying I was just saying here. He said he gonna purge the rebels. That's Ezekiel oh, 20. Yeah. So um, the remnant of our people that's left after the nuclear holocaust and after Yahweh Shai come back, we gonna go around gathering the Israelites, the um, Israelite foreigners, 
and the, uh, the ones of our people that are scattered, the ones who don't get down right there on the spot, they're going to be purged right there. They're going to be put to death. Because it's going to be the deliverance, the wilderness, and then, the, then, we gonna, then we're going into the kingdom. You see what I'm saying? And the heathens got to clean up their those dead bodies. They got to build them through. I gotta use my phone today. My and hoping that idiot would strike Iran. I was praying and hoping, man, that he would, uh, that he would, uh, that he would strike Iran, man. I was praying, man. But that's just the most side showing us that we just got to keep doing what we're doing. You know, brothers and sisters keep praying, fasting, you know, purging things that's not right in our spirit. Staying on that straight and narrow path, and you know you brothers that's pushing. That's the top gift. You pushing on the highways and hedges. You gonna have the top reward in the kingdom. Man. All right, that's the hundred and forty-four thousand, man. The top teachers and leaders. Man. Okay, so whatever office you have in a body, push it. Man. All right. When you see stuff like that, your spirit is supposed to be on fire. Man. Okay. Because you're living in a time that all... Let me get scriptures on that. You're living in a time that the prophets and the apostles dreamed of. They all wanted to know one thing or one thing alone. The main thing they wanted to know... Well, when are these things going to happen that we're seeing in these visions? When? When? That's what they were asking, man. That's what Ezra kept bugging the Most High about, man. Through the age of Uriel. When? When I'm going to see these things? When is that going to happen? Am I going to be around when it happens? And guess what? All the prophets and apostles, they all back in their lot, man. 
and they all gonna see it, man. You see? See, they all gonna see this uh, this third world's war, man. Okay, because it's biblical prophecy, man. It's biblical prophecy, man. There's no getting around it. All right. Anyway, let me read this up. Uh, let me read the article. Me, me, me. If I can find the article I want. If not, I'll just read the scripture. You know what? I'll save that for sit down, and that sit down may come out before this one. I may, I may, I may hold on that one. I may sit down on that one. Let me um, let me read Daniel ten. Matter of fact, Daniel ten. Let me get Exodus fifteen and three first. Exodus chapter fifteen, verse three. My mind is all over the place. Let me read Ezekiel thirty-eight. Ezekiel chapter thirty-eight, verse. One. And the word of Yahweh al Shah came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God and the land of Magog, the ancient Japhites, which that's Russia today. Alright? The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. That's the Russians, man. Alright? It says, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in thy army, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company, with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, they took down Libya already. And I'm going to put that in the sit-down, General Wesley Clark, basically was underneath the Bush administration and even before that man because he's a general in, in the, um, the army he said that they wanted to have they, the last um, they wanted to bin attack Iran man okay the whole Iraq Afghanistan Libya Somalia and the last one was supposed to be Iran you see but things getting a little complicated because Russia backs Iran See, Russia is having a resurgence. And this is what I'm reading about right now. You see? Because you had the Cold War when the Soviet Union fell. But underneath Vladimir Putin, Russia is back, man. The big bear is back, man. And this is what the Most High said. He said, what? And I will turn thee back. Back to what? Back to the, the days of Stalin. Okay, that communist mindset. You see? It says... And put hooks in thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Read verse 7. Be thou prepared, and prepare thyself and thy company that assemble unto thee, and be a guard unto them. So Gog and Magog is a guard unto Iran, Persia. Yeah? see man the scriptures is clear man and who's doing all this who's orchestrating all that read exodus 15 and 3 so you're supposed to be on fire for this thing when the most i show you but you're supposed to be on the scripture says be instant in and out of season when things are happening when things are not happening but things are happening now man okay that's why everything is getting shake shaken up the way it is right now okay this guy the economy is hitting rock bottom. Okay, this trade war that he has with China is hurting farmers, is hurting American companies. Okay. LA is a dump, man. Okay, homelessness is on the rise. The dollar losing its value. What, 22 trillion in debt? This place is out of here, man. Morally, the moral fiber is gone. Okay. Okay. This place is nothing but it's just folly it everywhere, man. Okay? All kind of homosexuals and pedos running around, man. Okay, transgender rights. This place is out of here, man. Okay? And of course, we see 
America militarily, they're about to lock horns, man. Because they already have a, what they call a proxy war in Syria, which um, America and Russia, America was supporting the um, the rebels, and Russia is supporting Assad. Right, these proxy wars. Iran is a whole other ball game, man. And the scripture says, I'm gonna get that. Let me get that. Well, let me read the Exodus 15 and 3. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, is a man of war. The Lord, or Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah, is his name, man. The Most High is a man of war, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father loves a good fight, man. That's why he put trials on you, man. Okay? That's why he's drawn out, he's drawn it out of us, man. To be like him, man. Because we're conquerors through the spirit. Okay? And that's exactly what we're gonna do when we get that power, man. Is subjugate everybody, man. Because you are all of you fighting for who the next world power is. The world put the next world power is Yasharala, man. Okay? After you guys blow each other to smithereens, we're going to come and subjugate everybody, man. And put all of you in chains together. Thus said the Lord, man. All right? The Most High is a man of war. Matter of fact, I'm going to get an example in the, the scriptures. You get Daniel chapter 10. You got know, all these harlots out here. That's another thing that's going to happen out here. These women, man. These women going to get judged, man. A lot of evil out here, man. You get Daniel the 10th chapter. You get Daniel chapter 10, verse 1. It says, In the third year of Cyprus the king of Persia, <laughs> this is spiritual, this is ancient Persia, it says, A thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar. That was his Babylonian name. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. Was cigarettes long and he understood the thing and had understanding of the vision in those days I Daniel was mourning three four weeks he fasted for 21 days man no eating no drinking okay I ate no pleasant bread neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled man he fasted for 21 days just like Ezra's did in order for him to get signs and visions man and it show you that fasting is powerful because after he fasted, he met Yahweh Shah. All right? Ezra's met, who the angel Uriel. All right? Anyway, let me read on. It says, And in the four and twentieth day of the first month, I was by the side of the great river, which is Hedekiel. As you know, we are captives in Babylon. It says, Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen whose loins was girded with the fine gold of Euphaz, the was shot. His body was like the burrow, he had a green garment, and his face the appearance of lightning. Scripture tells you wisdom calls a face man, um, a man's face to shine, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. And his eyes as lamps of fire, Genesis 49. And his arms and his feet in the color to polished brass, dark skin. And his voice the sounds of the voice of a multitude. So he had a deep, dark voice, man. Okay? Yahweh shot, man. Okay? That's a terrible power right there, man. And I, Daniel, alone saw this vision. A point is coming up. I'm going to read how the Most High orchestrate these wars, man. That's the point I'm bringing out. And I, I, and I, Daniel, alone saw the vision of the men that were with me, and saw the, not the vision, but a great quake and fell upon them, so they fled to hide themselves. Therefore was I left alone, and saw this great vision, and it rained no strength in me, for my comeliness was turned me into corruption, and I retained no strength. Yeah, because the angels, they just pure energy, man. And yet I heard the voice of the words, and when I heard the voice of his words, then I was in a deep sleep on my face, and my face toward the ground. The point is in, let me see, let me jump. Okay, the point is coming up, this is verse 10. 
And he said unto me, O Daniel, this is Yahweh Shai, greatly beloved, because Daniel's a part of the elect. That word beloved means elect, man. Okay? Because what, what does David name mean? Beloved, man. And we're, we're resurrecting what? The house of David. The beloved of the Heavenly Father, man. The Israel of the Most High. We read on. It says, And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee. And stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken his word unto me, I stood trembling. Then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and chasten thyself before thy power, thy words were heard, and I come for thy words. The first day he fasted, the Most High heard him. That shows you the importance of fasting. And the prince of the kingdom of Persia, this is the point, withstood me. One in twenty days. So the Lord was working on the Prince of Persia's mind. For twenty-one days. For what? For war. Okay, to show you the high level that the kings were in back then. Because they were able to um combat spirits. Okay? So Yahweh was working on his mind for twenty-one days. For what? For war. He's gonna go into it. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Now I come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. Verse 20. We in the latter days. Disappoint. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia, work on his mind, why? And when I gone forth, lo, the prince of Grisha shall come. So he was working on the prince of Persia's mind to go to war with the, um, Alexander the Greek, the Grecians, man. And that's exactly what Yahab HaShim El Shai is doing right now. He's working on the kings of the earth, your mind, to gather in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay, and let me get Daniel the eighth chapter, man. See, going into the prophecies, man. Oh boy, that wasn't in the camera I wanted either, man. Shit. Daniel chapter 8. Let me go Daniel 7. We get Daniel chapter 7. Verse 1. I will. It says, In the first year of Belshazzar, king, king of Babylon, Daniel had a vision dreams and visions of his head upon his bed then he wrote the dream and told the son of the matters Daniel spake and said I saw my vision by night and behold the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea and four beasts came up from the sea diverse one from another which are these are kingdoms okay long story short the Babylonians the Persians and I'm going to read that part the Persians and the Greeks Let's read verse 4. And the first was like a lion, had eagle's wings. The Syrians going into the Babylonians. I beheld till the wings thereof was plucked, and it lifted up from the earth, and made stand upon as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. And behold, another beast second like a bear, and it raised up on one side, 
and had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said, Thus unto it arise the vow of much flesh. Okay, those are the Persians, Persians and the Medes. After this, I beheld to another like a leopard, which had upon her the back of it four wings of a fowl. And the beast had four heads, and dominion was given to it. So that's Alexander the Greek and his four generals, Lysimaeus, Antigonus, and Seleucus Ptolemy. So we know that the Greeks took down the Persians and the Medes. And we just read in Daniel the 10th chapter where Yahweh Shah was working on the Prince of Persia. I mean, I said the Prince of Persia. The, um, the Persians' mind to go to war with the Grecians. Why? Because it's prophecy. See, this whole thing is prophetic. You can't fight prophecy. Keep reading. We'll just read on down. It says, And I saw the night vision. Oh, a fourth beast, which is the Romans. And this is the Roman Empire reincarnated. America, Babylon, America, and NATO. Dreadful and terrible, strong and exceeding, and it had a great iron teeth. It devoured and breaking it in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns. Yeah. The ten common markets, okay, that made up NATO when it originally started. They were diverse one from another because they all got their different prime ministers. See? It's not like in times past, you had one king over everything. That's what said they were diverse one from another. And I, I considered the horns and behold, they came up from among them a little horn before whom the, the first three were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold, in his form were like the eyes of a man and a mouth speaking great things. So we know that was the Greeks, not the Greeks. The British, the French, and the Spaniards, man. Okay? Those are the three main um, powers that started this country here. And that little horn that came up amongst it is America, man. Alright? And I beheld to the thrones were cast down. All power structures, man. Okay? Cast down, man. Alright? When the kingdom of heaven is set up. And the Ancient of Days did sit, oh, Yahweh, his garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. All right, for them idiot Christians who say, oh, now that's symbolic in Revelation of first chapter. When it goes into the Lord's description, man. And when it says white like wool, it means it was white and wool. Because we're reading Daniel the seventh chapter now, the most high's hair is what? Is wool, man. Like the pure wool, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is in the image of his father, it says. And it's strong like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire, the chariots. Verse 12. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, and their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. You see? And I saw the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, with the clouds of heaven, came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him there before him. And there was given him dominion and glory, and a kingdom, and that all people and nations and languages, languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, which shall not be destroyed. Man. We're in the days of those kings right now. All right. Oh, well, verse eleven. How can I skip that? I beheld them because of the voice of the great words which the Lord spake, and I beheld even till the beast was slain. Okay. They know that. Okay. We know the whole America will be destroyed. It says. And his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. See? What flame is that? And the fire the Lord going to bring. We are at the door this happening, man. We're at the door, man. Playing games, keep fanning the hand, keep thinking this is a joke, man. 
Because had that man did that, your life as you know would change overnight, man. Okay? Because it's going to see well the third world was already in. With the most high stirring the pot, it's brewing. You see? That's why the scripture says, man. Proverbs 21 verse 1. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the king's heart, his leader's heart, or their mind, is in the hand of Yahweh Shem Yal Shah. When the Most High give them a go ahead, they're going to go at each other and destroy one another. Most High is the ultimate puppet master. That's what we all are at the end of the day. We saw we find out he's just a man. And you can't sign that properly. You can't. Why? Because we just read it. Okay? This whole movie, this whole script was already written. At the end of the script, you got Allah Shai coming back and destroying all kingdoms and have many crowns on his head and put the heathen in subjection, man. You see, y'all all imagining the vain thing who's gonna rule next, man. Right? Reevaluate their, their wicked doctrine. People are not trying to hear that no more. That's why people leave it, man. But you're not learning.